Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on this week's weekly mission, which is the Communion. If you get 100k in this weekly mission, it's a pinnacle reward, so we're going to start supporting these as well. Uh, this is done on the Hunter. This is kind of Hunter week for me. I haven't even started my Warlock, so next week we'll start getting Warlock runs done and then level it out for Titan, Hunter and Warlock. Uh, I'm using Galahorn, I'm using the Glaive, and I'm using Hung Jury. Hung Jury, obviously, I've got uh, Anti-Barrier Scout Rifle on. Uh, suppressing Glaive and Lucent Finisher. It's roughly the same kind of mod setup that I used for my 100k Nightfall, because uh, we're dealing with very similar kinds of champions. Now, the Communion you can do on Heroic, Legend, and Master. Much the same for the Nightfall Reasoning. I'm kind of giving it a couple of weeks before I start doing master content because I feel like it take a couple of weeks for everybody to get to master level content. So you guys will probably remember this mission. Everybody's done it. Uh, a little bit different when there's champions involved. Then obviously they hit a little bit harder. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to skip the first set of ads. Now it's a time thing, obviously, with master content, le legend content, sorry. Uh... You get uh, 25 minutes to score points. And then after 25 minutes, the next five minutes, you score points at half their original values. But you start losing points as well. So I figured uh, if I was going to be losing points, then what I wanted to do was at least get to the boss where there's champions and bigger waves of ads. Rather than spend a couple of minutes at the start, let's get past that. There isn't a lot of points to be had there, but... It's time consuming, it takes about four, four and a half minutes to complete that first section, whereas we've saved three and a half minutes. So when you get to this section, you'll have a couple of tanks you've got to deal with, some champions and some elite adds. I've got my super, so I'm going to try and take these two arc guys out first. If I take these two esteem colossus out first, uh, and you can see there that's both of them gone. The super really helped with that. I'll just use my super on any adds that are down here. And there is an unstoppable over there. I am going to be taking him. I just want to clear kind of the the debris or the you know, the trash mobs. Uh, and we need to watch out. Once you take this champion out, you see you can see there. Once you take the champion out, put a galley on him. Uh, once you take that out, then the shield over the the tank. Once you move up so far, uh, the shield will come down. So again, Lucent Finisher. Finish with as many champions as we can. Keep that constant kind of influx of heavy. Now you see, uh, there's now that now that we're up here, the 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 barrier over that that tank has disappeared. So again, as I've said before in previous videos, if you aim for the legs with with uh, the tank, you do more damage. And we'll just put one more. That should finish them. Which it didn't. Yes, it did. There we go. So, now what I'm going to do is use the Galahorn for its intended purposes. You see all the ads just falling under the power of the Galahorn. That was... The rocket launchers are categorised by Bungie as being ad clear weapons. So, I'm not just, like, burning, you know cheesy using a rocket launcher to clear ads that is the way bungie intended rockets to be used uh, a couple of twabs ago they done that they categorized all the weapons linear fusion rifles and snipers are boss damage weapons allegedly so you see there big damage but you've got to watch out you see what i done there there's the tank gone we can move up uh, there'll be a bunch of ads there'll also be a turret through here And then we'll take that, and then there should be a whole bunch of ads round about here. We want them to bunch up. If I'm going to put a rocket on them, I want to hit as many of them as possible. So, you know. I chose this scout rifle over... I've been using the Perez B. Perez D, is it? I always get the Palm, Palmyra and the Perez mixed up. So, I'll just throw a grenade down there. That should do some work. And... Uh, here, as many of these ads as I can. There's another turret. We want uh, everything about this was speed, and you'll 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 maybe get the gist of, of what I'm doing. There's, there is a part in this that 
when I was doing it, it, it felt like some sort of or you know, like uh, over dr dr dramatized or uh, Japanese anime fighting scene or something out of the Matrix. The way that attacked the eyes. I'll, I'll, you probably it probably doesn't look like that in the video, but it definitely felt like that. So everything's time. Everything's about saving time, and I was until I got maybe to the boss. I was I was playing pretty aggressively. The glaive will allow that. Now, some people again might be thinking we're well, using the glaive again. While it's you can only use what's in front of you, you know why wouldn't you use the strongest things? And the glaive, although it's not brilliant for absolutely everything, it is super fun to use. Its utility is second to none. I don't think any weapons in the game have the same kind of utility as the glaive. But this, as somebody said on uh, commented on the last video. You know, do I think glaives will be strong after the season pack, after the the artifact is gone, the synaptic spear? I think so. I just think that the utility will change. Obviously, the seasonal mod will go where you can suppress everything. Uh, but but they'll ju they'll still be strong. They'll just change the utility, the the way that it, you know, what its strength is. So you just watch out for the turret. But the the glaive, obviously the. I'm quite surprised at how how much damage the energy blast from the glaive does. It's it's actually it's actually a decent amount of damage. So again, as I keep saying, it's all about you know clearing areas with as much time as possible. Obviously, if we were doing this on master, we'd have five minutes more and we'd be scoring more points per per uh, per kill. So again, I'm I'm utilising the glaive because make no mistake. And I think it's going to be like this with a, with a few of the missions, these uh, t these uh, squad missions. Getting to the boss is going to be that's going to be the thing. Uh, we've got to disable this uh, again. Sometimes when you're going for speed, uh, you the speed is the most important thing. I should have been over here waiting to do that. Now we're going to get a bunch of other ads, and in this area now. We're going to get a barrier champion. Now I've got full, full heavy. I think there's a brick on the floor back here. Yep. So there's two. So I, I don't have to finish this barrier. And you can see I'm trying to go between the energy blast and the melee portion of the, the melee utility of the. The glaive to try and save ammo. So there's my barrier. Just get my scout out ready to break the shield. And I am going to finish. Well, I was going up to finish. Uh, but like I say, that energy blast is really good. You know, definitely not complaining about it. I remember the jokes people were making. Oh man, it sounds like a shotgun. I, I, I don't really care what it sounds like. It, it feels pretty good. So when we get here, I am going to be looking to use my super because there's a couple of heavy ads up here. They've got the high ground as well, so tactically you're in a bad place being down there. So I go up the side here. I'm looking. I'm just going to use my super. And then, as you can see, I was holding my my jumps. I used the glaive to finish this off. I wasn't. I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't just spamming my jump button so I could save myself and keep myself up here. But still, you know, if, if you can go between, if you can go between the, your single jump, so you have a jump and then you've got boosts. People ask me this all the time when I say, what, what do I mean a single jump? It's just the jump you do when you first press the button and then you've got two boosts after that. If you can learn to kind of stretch those out, especially on the Hunter, uh, and... It's it's a lot. You can save yourself from jumps that are or from falls that normally would kill you, you know. And, and as you can see there, it works really well in Crucible as well. If you can, if you can learn to use the the, the jumps and the boosts to your advantage, I think I've got powerful friends on as well, which gives me uh, plus twenty mobility. And the reason I put that on is at the boss, I'm going to have to be doing a lot of running about, and we are. You know, we're trying to save as much time. This is the part that felt like I was in some kind of martial arts movie where we were doing the fighting up here. I never waited down at the bottom. I came up to attack the ads straight away. 
you know, uh, there are points where maybe a rocket would have done a better job. And I think, I think actually, if I remember rightly, the Unstoppable comes up to get involved in the, get involved in the action. So again, it's just about movement and, you know, the, so I've got, and it's something I normally put on when I'm using the Glaive, there's the Unstoppable, as melee, melee hits start health regeneration, because the, the Glaive, Glaive's melee attack counts for that, which is really cool. So you get melee hit, even if you're getting hit, you get melee hit, and then <laughs> you get a melee hit, hit, and you start health regeneration, uh, and go invisible. So it, th there's just, there's nothing to not like. Nice leading that shot there. Unfortunately, the explosion burnt me a little bit. So now that we've cleared that out, now we're going to move on to the next section. This is kind of a mini boss fight. It's it's your midpoint boss fight. So what I was doing to start with was I was just coming in because I've, I've actually ran this a few times. Uh, I was coming in exploding those barrels the first time I came in, but if if you don't if you don't get hits on the the ads first and the barrels kill them sometimes it doesn't give you the points and. I'm not saying we're going to be super tight on points, but we don't want to be worrying about points. So this the boss is going to spawn in up there with an incendiar and an unstoppable. So I put put one right on the incendiar, which <clears throat> changed to the boss. I'll put another one on the boss. We want the boss to come down. Then we can go up and have a have a word with the unstoppable. I'm not too worried about burning a few. Uh, Rockets, because we know we're going to get the boy here. We're going to get some heavy from him. Now, what, just behind where this unstoppable is, if you find yourself a little bit overawed in this area, there is an area just back there, just round to the right, where uh, you can go. You're in, you're in decent cover. So I'm just going to use a couple of rockets here just to clear out mass clear ads, which is pretty good. We'll have for the boss. You see the boss's health, uh, and that unstoppable. Uh, we don't want to kill the unstoppable. Oh, we do. What was I thinking of? <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I know what I was thinking of. There is heavy on the floor already. When at all possible, you just need to you need to be uh, mindful of your heavy ammo situation. Although it's not the end all and be all. I used my grenade there. To uh, I I I kind of I kind of still enjoy using suppressing grenades. Uh, I prefer them a lot of the time over uh, the the vortex vortex grenade <clears throat> because they do two jobs. They do a ton of damage on explosion, which is what you want. Put a couple of rockets on this boss before I go up on the, the pillar. There's a couple of snipers up there, so we want to get rid of those, <clears throat> and we want the high ground. I apologise if my voice doesn't sound the same. I have for the past week been kind of suffering with... I do not know what. I can't tell you what this is because I don't know what it is. I think it's a cold. Uh, I think... I'm just going to use my super here and just, you know... I, I, I want to do big damage on, on that mini boss without having to burn too much uh, ammunition. Sometimes, I, you know... If anybody remembers my old videos, this is definitely what it feels like. Watch your heavy ammo. There we've got the first barrier of this area. I think it's the only barrier of this area, so I don't know why I'm saying first. When it's the only, it's like it's like saying you're you're my favourite mum. <laughs> you only got one mum. Uh, so what we're going to try and do? He put up his barrier. Sometimes these barriers put up the barriers really quickly. So I'm not going to bother finishing him. Because uh, I can see I've got a brick of heavy there. And I need to go and deactivate this uh, shield again. And then we're going to try and get rid of the boss. Maybe not melt him, but as quickly as we can. So we'll go up here. 
And as you can see, Galahorn does a decent job on him. My my kind of thing is about about uh, the galley. I said this in my 100k. It might not have been the only time I've said this. I'll just take out these snipers. That uh, the Galahorn holds a special place for me. Probably much the same as it does for everybody. But it holds a very special place for me because it was one of my first exotics in Destiny 1. And I didn't even know what it was. So I'm, you see here, I'm kind of joking him. You see the damage, the hit, the hits that that the energy glaive does is is truly a surprise, because the utility. I keep saying that word, the utility, but it's true. The utility of this weapon always astounds me. You know, you don't, you do not need to have ammunition to still be efficient with this uh, with this weapon because its its melee capabilities are great. And then you've got that, you know, high energy blast. Uh, yeah, so the Galahorn, it's, it's, I, I do feel a little bit cheesy. For, it feels like I'm using it quite a lot, but, oh man, I just love that weapon. You know, and for me, it's, I, I don't have, I don't have any complaints about Witch Queen, right? I have no complaints. This is exactly what I was looking for. But if I was to be constructive, and it makes sense with the Glaive being the new weapon introduced in the franchise, uh, my only kind of thing I would say is heavy weapons do seem a little bit mm, questionable. So, you know, that I, I don't feel like the heavy... There aren't really, apart from the Galahorn, in my mind, there's no go-to heavy, you know? We've always had a couple of decent heavies for, for DPS, and it seems like in in uh, it seems like in in Witch Queen there are no go tos, which really surprises me. So, out, out, you know, and I mean this with the greatest respect to all the other weapons. I'm sorry if I'm if I'm gonna crap on one of your favourite weapons, but. The galley is the best of a bad bunch, and the, but the, I mean, it's the Galahorn. I mean, it's it's, it's the Galahorn. <laughs> uh, I said I said on a stream actually that you know every video I make is gonna just be hi guys welcome to the video yep Galahorn again. That's how much I love this weapon from D1. It got me out a lot of scrapes. Uh, so now, now we're kind of ahead, and you can see 87,000, we need to hit 100k. Uh, this is us, I think, in the boss room. Yeah, this is the boss room. So, rally this flag. Now, you can over-level an activity by 20 levels. So, this is a 1550, so anything over 1770. 1770 is the max you can, you know, you won't be any more powerful in this activity as a 1774, 78, whatever. Watch out for... When, when you're using the Energy Blast uh, to take out the Incendios, just watch out, because they will explode. And th that explosion can kill you. So when you come in here, you guys probably remember this, uh, you disable the three jammers, and then from the back where those pillars are just to our left, the boss is going to come out, so we're going to try and put a couple of rockets on them to start with. A, cut, a weapon that I was thinking about using now that the glaive, the glaive is pretty decent, especially in nightfall. So I'm going to start using trying trying out some some art weapons that I've maybe forgot about, Thunderlord, maybe Anarchy, because uh, the glaive puts in so much work that maybe you can, you know, you get 25% extra damage uh, in nightfalls with art weapons. Will that make up nearly make up for the 30% damage that the that the Anarchy lost against bosses? I mean, it will. It's 5% of a difference. So, I am thinking about giving that another visit. So, anyway. The idea here, and, you know, you know again, I don't, I don't want to be, like, uh, telling you guys stuff that you probably already know. The idea here is to get rid of as many of these trash ads as possible. You know, and then going again every time you're going to disable, you're going to disable the 
these three m magnetic kind of uh, restrictors. Of I, I can't actually remember what they're called. So take take as many of the ads out, especially the, there's a couple of snipers in the mid. Just want to make sure they are gone. So I'm just going to put a rocket right on top of that. That'll take the scions. I don't like it when the, the fire guys are out because if I'm being honest, I'm always wary of just random explosions. So I'm just looking to see what there is. Just that sniper there. I'm, I'm wanting to put the unstoppable down as low as I can. More incendiars. Now I think what happens with these incendiars is the longer you leave it to start disabling the, the things, they, they'll just keep coming out. So I want to get the unstoppable low. And for some reason, that didn't stop them. It happens sometimes, especially if I've noticed if, if, if the unstoppable is not engaged. So what I mean by that is, if he isn't looking at you, uh, sometimes you'll stop him. Or you'll fire your unstoppable shot and it will not stop him. For some reason, as I keep saying for some reason, but I think what it is, is he's just like, he has to be active. You know, sometimes they, they stop being active. The jammers, they disable these three jammers. I think if he's not active and he's not engaged uh, with you, then he just, it's like you can't stop him. All right, so that's that's the last jammer. So you can see the, it says the pyramid shifting. Let the pyramid get into position before you start firing because the last thing you would want is to fire a rocket uh, and one of these walls appear right in front of you. Now, I'm not saying that's ever happened to me. You know, stop, don't put words in my mouth. It's never happened. No, honestly, I'm not crying. You're crying. Okay? Okay, it maybe, it maybe did happen. Uh, so just, you can see there, I'm, I'm having to... The problem I've got now is not that I'm being overawed by ads, although that can be a problem, because we, we can just sort them out with this, is that I don't have any rounds for my for my uh, glaive and one thing I, I you guys can let me know in the comment section are you guys having a problem getting glaive ammo and 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 not not because I think it's a massive problem more at the point have you guys managed to get glaive ammo finder I haven't had any of the mods I don't have glaive uh, I've got glaive scavenger because because it's uh because it's in the artifact. I, I haven't had any glaive ammo. Finders, scavengers, uh, the ones that you get. Supposedly, you're supposed to get them from opening chests the way we did with the uh, trace rifle. You remember when they introduced all the trace rifle mods? You were supposed to get the glaive ones the same way. I haven't had any. So, I find sometimes, I'm not saying I, I always have a problem getting glaive ammo, but uh, sometimes I feel like I'll go like maybe 30 seconds, oh there's more special there, 30 seconds to a minute with no special drops. So now that now that we've disabled all the jammers, I'm just going to make sure that there aren't too many ads encroaching. You see there's a whole, whole host of them coming out now. Uh, just clear any in the immediate vicinity. You can see I'm taking I'm taking a bit of damage here. I'm just gonna bust that grenade. I am in a bit of trouble here, so you can always go up here, use this this section here as cover. Just to get health back, so I've decided we'll just pop our super on the boss. And you can see it done done a reasonable bit of damage. I'm just gonna dodge glaive. Just clear all any ads in front of me. We're good. Rocket, do I need another one? Yeah. And because I knew there were going to be ads around me, I was jumping when I was firing the rocket. So there you go, guys. That is this week's heroic story mission. 
You're probably safer at the back there. If you're on your Warlock, obviously you're going to be generating a rift. You'll have grenades and all the good stuff. Titan, you've got the barricade. There's, you know, there's tons of ways to do this on other characters. But because I've done other stuff on the Hunter this week, this is kind of my Hunter stuff. Next week it will more than likely be Warlock. <clears throat> Although I haven't even started my Warlock yet. So, along with this, I'm going to upload last week's that I forgot to upload. So... I hope you guys enjoy them. Good luck with your run, and I'll see you in the next video.